comfortable. Then feel your sitting bones just get heavy on the earth. And then the shoulders fall away from the ears. Let your spine get tall. And the crown of your head reaches towards the divine or God or Allah or Durga, whatever you think it is. Slightly tuck the chin, soften your gaze. You can even close your eyes. And let's do our palms up to start. When you inhale, let your belly get big and exhale, it gets smaller. Inhale, filling up, exhale, ha, letting go. Inhale to fill up with good stuff and then exhale, ha. See, so don't we feel better already? And then we're going to bring our hands into this position. So put all your fingertips to touch, like that. And then just stare at your fingers and watch them turn around in circles as you breathe in and breathe out. Ah, all about the breath, calming our central nervous system. Through your fingers, whatever makes you feel right. And then bring your hands, flat palms to your heart. And close your eyes if you want. We'll set an intention, but feel your own heart. Feel the love that's in there. Feel the love that is present between the three of us, between those that you love in your home, in the world. Let's bring in love and get rid of not love. So breathe into your love. Hmm. And then we switch, put the other hand on the bottom, the other on top, and decide what you need to do today during our class. It's your first class, then and you're like, what's this about? And if it's your millionth class in nutrition, you're like, what's she going to do today? But what do you need? What does your heart need? What does your body need? What does your mind need? And we set what's called an intention, like, I am going to get to a class, or I am going to like this, or I am going to feel better, or I am going to let go of my anxiety, or simply, I am. In yoga, we call that sat. Um, hmm. Inhale your arms out to the side, and then let them find prayer mudra, right? At the heart center again. And we'll do this um, sound, it's om. It goes ah, oh, mm. And that is a universal healing sound. It's like when babies first talk, they're like ah, ah, And mama, mama, and does that ah, ah, oh. So I'm gonna breathe in, exhale, and this sound works even if you don't make it. Let's so take an inhale, exhale, Ah. Now let your hands fall towards your legs. Drop your head to your heart and find some gratitude. You know, what are you grateful for? A lot of people like to just complain, but we have to keep breathing because it's good for us. We like it. Huh. Eventually come to stillness. Take arms like it's a baby. So hold your little baby leg. Elongate your spine. We're going to inhale, open our leg and turn a little. Exhale, close it and turn the other way. Don't go too far. If it hurts, don't do it. Inhale, open up the hips just a little. Exhale, close and back up. So one more time. Inhale to open. And exhale, close. And then take that pillow and let it hold your knee up. And then see your foot. Open it like it's a book. Just set your love on your foot. You know, give it this kind of padding a little bit. We'll come, and then give it some compression. Beat your foot up a little. Put a little tootsie. And then take um, your toes and spread them apart. They may not like to spread apart. If you get a cramp, shake it out. So take your toes and spread them. And notice where they need some space. 
Get curious about your toes. If it, this is the most important thing we're going to think about today is our toes. And then take your um, fingers and put them in between each toe. That, that's tricky sometimes. And shake hands with your toes. It's called a yogi toe handshake. Now take a moment also to maybe use your thumbs and just rub around on your, your foot. Give yourself a little massage wherever it feels right. If there's a little soreness, then inhale and breathe into it. It's a nice thing to do for yourself. Well, I haven't found anybody that will rub my feet yet. Maybe Trish will do that. Just love on your own foot. It's self-care anyway, it's self-love. And then take your palms and go on the outsides of your foot. You're going to get some good compression. And then elongate that leg. Take a minute to close your eyes and notice how different one foot feels from the other. It should feel a little lighter. So I suppose we do the other one. So switching sides. And then take this leg and hug it up close to you. And we'll do the same. It's inhale, checking out what's going on over there. Exhale, closing our head. Inhale, open, exhale, close. And one more, inhaling to open, exhale, close. And you might think in your mind, oh, I like the other leg better. You know, keep your thoughts light, just be observant of yourself. And then turning this foot up like it's a book. And taking time um, on the toesies there. I'm going to give each toe a little bit of love. Oh, my toes are like, yay, they like this. Taking um, time to spread the toes apart. Again, if you get a little cramp in your toe, you know, shake it off. No pain. I don't like pain. And then a, a finger in between each toe. Never get my finger between the second and third easily. And then shake your toes like a handshake. No more handshaking, toe shaking. <laughs> and then in a circle. And then we'll do the palm rub, compression. And then walk along. There's all kinds of little knives and meridians and pressure points and marker points. How many names can there be? If it feels sore, don't do too much. Just notice how it feels. Good. That's good. And then come on the sides, the bottom. And then bring your legs into a long position. If this is seated mountain pose. Flex your feet. Sit up nice and tall. Elongate your spine. Tuck your chin. Bring your hands to your heart center. Gaze at something ahead of you that, that doesn't move. And inhale. Hold your breath for a second. Exhale. Close your breath for a second. Inhale. Hold the breath for one second. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. So maybe in those moments when we hold our breath, we can find such peace that the body is doing its job. Inhale your arms behind you, if there's room. Reach your arm up. What do you want? What do you need? Ask your angels, whoever you think is up there, resting peacefully in the sky. <laughs> Can I please have this? Please. I love myself so much. I need this. Can I please have it? Thank you. And then we come into a forward fold or about the long spine, and then surrender and round your spine. You can put your arms under your knees, which drop from side to side. The forward fold, shake your head yes and no, and I don't know. Let it be easy for you here. Rock side to side. I do a lot of sway, it's calming to my central nervous system. And then walk yourself back up. So um, have this pillow bolster thing right there. We're going to come into what's called child pose. First, toes touch, knees are wide, hips melt back, 
and your arms come in front. And if you can't do this, it's all right. You can always stack your fists, come into child pose. And when you're here, make sure you're breathing, expanding your belly, and exhaling with a let go of all that stress and tension of life. It's a huh. Well, I can probably stay here for a long time. One more inhale. Huh. I can hear you guys even though you're muted. And then tent your fingers. Walk back up. Oh, I felt good. Here. Bring your hips up high for a minute. So you're standing like this. Inhale, reach up. I'm just looking for good energy. I know it's there, but then it's kind of hard some days, so I'm going to hug in and say, oh, it's okay. Inhale to look up. Help me, angels. Exhale. It's okay. I'm good. And one more time. Thank you for helping me. And then it's, I love myself, because I do, Trisha, do. And then reach your hands forward, walk your hands. This is melting heart or puppy pose. So you may want this here. Let's, let's make this um, gentle. So have this here, put your hands in front of it, and let your head be here. So it's, ooh, that might be a little more difficult. See what works for you. Trisha, watch your shoulder at this one. So your heart is melting, your, your booty's up there, and you're breathing. You can roll side to side. Uh, modify if it doesn't work, don't do it, please. And then walk yourself back up. I think I could probably, since it's two of you and your quiet ones, I'm gonna make sure you're doing okay. I want to hear you guys. Oh, that's some connection. I'm unmuting you. I'm unmuting you guys. That feels okay? Doing all right there? Yeah. Because I want to hear you. So I take your, um, your left hand and place it on the floor in front of your face. And you can even go, because I like to make noise. Inhale your right arm up. So open up your heart. And then this arm is going to dive under. You're not going to rest on your shoulder because you have a pillow. Your head's going to rest on the pillow. There's no compression on your shoulder at all. It's just hanging up. But this is a big stretch. It's a spiral line. So you can inhale here and exhale. If you feel like doing something else, you can bring your arm behind your back. Maybe your foot comes out. But, but if you don't feel safe doing that, don't do it. Trust yourself. Breathe into your body. And let that be all that's in your awareness right now. Just breathing in and breathing out. Huh. Should be no compression on your shoulder, Miss Trisha. Does that feel okay? Yep. Ah, I'll do that just for you. And then we'll push that left hand into the earth. Inhale the right one and up, back up. And as I open up to hope and opportunity, and exhale, come back here. So have your um, hips over your knees, your shoulders. Your hands a little ahead of your shoulders, but just let your hips go side to side. And then let them go in a circle. Oh, so this is different for everybody. Circle your hips around. Release any tension that you're having there, or at least some of it. Go one way, the other way. All we have to do right now is roll around our hips in a circle. Breathe. This is our time to take care of ourselves and let Everything else go. It becomes a center. And then elongate your neck and have a little temper tantrum. Our big one. Calm the central nervous system. And then take the right hand in front, I think. Is it the right or the left? The right, yep. Yeah. This one. Inhale your arm up. Open to that opportunity. Hold, fake, and then exhale, dive under. It's like threading a needle, and your head rests on your pillow. And you get comfy. You can hold on to the pillow or not. And this arm could come behind you or not. And this foot can come out. So you make a decision of what's good for you. As you breathe in, 
And you breathe out. Ah, let it go. It melts into the earth. Breathing in, breathing out. You don't want to fall asleep here, Trish. <laughs> don't want to sleep. Yeah. So one more breath in, one exhale, and then we'll push the right hand into the earth, and then open our hearts up once again, and then we'll bring it back. And then see how it feels to sit on your heels. If that's not an easy thing to do, it's not accessible. You can sit on a bolster or pillow. You can also come to this pose and not, this is hero pose. So either your feet are next to you or under you. It doesn't really matter. It's, it's not the most important thing in the world. And then um, inhale your arms up in front of you. And then let your pointer fingers touch. So you've got this little like mudra is called. Inhale, come on up. And then reach yourself one way. And the other, just swing side to side. Use your breath, push your feet into the earth. Whoa. And then we're gonna bring our arms apart. Inhale, exhale. Let me show you this way. Sweep your arms down. It's a child pose. Inhale, come up. And then exhale, sweep the arms back down. And if it feels yucky, don't do it. Just rest in child pose. Inhaling, pushing into the earth, maybe a little bit reaching back. Exhale to come down. Let it all be about your body and your breath, and let your mind take a nap. And then exhale one more time. And then come and sit on the heels again. But this is a, um, this is a tricky way to sit, so if it doesn't feel comfortable, we just have this special feeling at heart and soul. We just don't do it if it hurts. And then let your legs come around actually and draw your left leg long and tuck the right one in. Back. I realize I'm in on a black mat and black clothes, so I don't know how well you can see. Flex that foot and take your right hand to your knee and your left hand on your leg and just start to rotate your body. You can also, well, we don't have straps. So you're you're twisting from up here, not your lower back. Inhale, exhale, using it, this hand to push a little bit. Breathing, just look, gazing over your shoulder, noticing that there's not a lot going on over there for me anyway. And this is my left hand. It just comes on the outside of the leg. And I'm gonna to start to turn to look the other way. What is going on over there? Not much, just breathe in. And breathe out. Huh. So become an observer, quieting our thoughts, just watching our body as it moves. And then you'll turn your body, make a little tense out of your fingers. Inhale, it's a nice tall spine, and exhale, fold over your leg. Whatever way works for you, and let your head heavy surrender to the earth. And breathe. Whoa. So if we inhale and then we go, huh, it, it tells our brains we're safe. We don't need to worry right now. Come on. Should be doing this at four in the morning, I think. Hmm. Then we'll take the right hand, reach it in front, just leisurely looking at your fingers, serving me up some cookies or something good. Plant that hand and then push your hips forward. It's a counter pose. Just to the best of your ability, don't hurt yourself. I will cry. And then exhale to come down. She thinks I'm kidding. I cry if people hurt. Bring your knees together and give yourself a hug here. Let your head be heavy. And just let yourself know that you're enough. You're doing the very best you can. And if you're not, you are, I know you too, definitely not. Bring your head to center. Let that right leg become the long leg, it's elongated with a flex foot. And tuck the left one in. And just find your sitting bones, find yourself. And then the left hand, so you're better at this than I am at the studio. The left hand is on your knee. You're just kind of rotating your body to see what's going on on the right side. Inhale, exhale. 
So let your thoughts be light. You're just feeling your body. What kind of silly shape am I in now? Inhaling and exhaling, feeling your breath. Huh. And then that little lever goes the other way. Turn to see what's on the other side of the room. Inhale. Exhale. Not much going on over there still. I'm just a witness. I'm not engaging in thought. No judgment. Hmm. And then that right hand starts to kind of come down the side of this leg. Looking up. We did this. Reach up and over. Uh, and then tent your fingers and turn this into a forward fold here. Let your head be heavy. Sway a little. Good. Feels nice. It doesn't feel good. Just adjust it to make it feel good for you. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep your breath. That's the most important part. Because you take that left hand, you reach it forward. And now you're giving me some, maybe a spaghetti. Not a lot of cookies. Plant your hand, counter pose to come up. And then come on back. Okay, we're doing good here. We're just moving with ease and grace. Make sure that you, when you come up on your toes like this, it doesn't hurt. I'm on my toes, but you can be on the flats of your foot. Let's try to see. So it's either this way or this way. And then just show your shoulders for a minute. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Not that serious, not today, not this class. And then take your left leg. Make sure you can feel your whole foot. That whole foot out there. And make sure you're kind of in alignment so you, this foot is way out here, way out here. Inhale your arms up. And then we're going to come into a little side stretch over the longest leg. It's long because the other one's best. And then Yogi's choice. You, can, you come to center, drop this hand, or it can be a fist. And this arm can come straight up, it can come over your head. And maybe this leg wants to float up, or maybe it just doesn't. It's your choice. It never feels good in your head. You can turn down and look at the earth. And just breathe in and out. Maybe be amazed by how well our bodies can move. Soften your shoulders, please. Ah. We have nowhere to go, nothing to do. We're just breathing and moving a little bit. And then you can bring your knee back in. Sit back down for a moment. Put your hands onto your legs. Soften your eyes, close your eyes if that's okay. Just feel the touch of your hands on your legs. Breathe in and out. Let your energy flow to the feeling. Take yourself away from all that thinking. It doesn't matter if you do the pose I do. It doesn't matter if you're perfectly in the same shape. We're just keeping our minds still. Breathe in and breathe out. Huh. And then we'll come on back up to the knees. Take the other leg. Bring it out. Kick things out of the way if you need to. Inhale your arms out to the side. And then reach up and over the elongated leg. Maybe turn your head down. Take a breath. Can we just appreciate this, this time that we're breathing and we're together and we're just moving? It's really, it's just yoga, but it's everything. And then it's like a teeter-totter to the other side. Bring your arm way up and be one long line of energy. It can be here. Turn your head down if it's tired. Your neck hurts and this leg is optional. It can stay down. Yogi's choice. You are now a yogi. Ha! Ah, keep breathing. It's a highly recommended thing to do. And Come back to center, curl your toes under, push your hips up. So you're coming into a forward fold. Your feet are hip width distance apart, two fists in the middle. And then bend your knees to bring your belly to your thighs and hang out, and sway. There you go, ha, ha, that's a good one, ha, ha. I'll be fine, isn't it? Now we're gonna stand up. The way we stand up is to bend your knees a lot, sink your tailbone, arms come out, and then right about halfway, flip your palms up, 
reach up, look up, and get the sun in your hands. My imaginary sun of dreams. I'm like, I can have what I want. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I know I can if I work at it, but not now. I'm just going to draw my dreams into my heart. I'm not going to sit there for a minute because I can't. And then we shake it up. So we hold all our worries in our bodies. So it's silly. I'm not looking at you. Just shake it, shake it off. You can dance it off, whatever you want to do. <sighs> and then people usually fix their clothes and whatnot here. <laughs> and then we find Tadasana, mountain pose. Find your whole foot. Find the ground. The earth will hold us if we let it. Soften your knees. Stack your joints so your knees should be over your ankles. Your hips are over your knees. Shoulders over your hips. Slightly tuck your chin. Watch out for this. A lot of people will do this. Let your, let your chest just be as it is. And flip your palms open. And find something to stare at that doesn't move. It's usually not me. I, I fidget a little bit. So we call that a dristi. And just let yourself breathe. Control your mind or it will control you. So watch your thoughts as they float by. Huh. I will practice what I teach. Yes, I will. Breathing in, breathing out. Let it be easy. Does not have to be hard. And then drop your arms. Give it a little shake. And let's do a warrior, just because we need to be strong. Take your hands to your, your um, hips, yeah. And just do a little curtsy thing, bend in and out. Make sure you're continuing to inhale and exhale. It's hard to talk and teach and breathe properly. So know that I'm ujjayi breathing in my mind. So that ujjayi ocean breath, you hear it in your throat, it's like... I changed my mind the way too. So we're going to turn this into a tree pose. If you want to use a chair, you can, if you were, didn't get sleep or whatever. Bring your hands to your heart center. And this is perfectly fine. We have become trees, balanced. And your foot can come under your leg, your knee, or above it. Your, your choice. And then let your arms maybe sway in the wind. If you look at me, you're going to fall over. <laughs> I'm going to fall anyway. Bring your hands to your heart. And see if you can bring that foot down. So good. Good job. Yeah, it's the hard part of watching me is because I, I, you know, I'm not, yeah. So bring your hands to your hips. And this is the other leg, which is curtsy in because we're, we're all so cute. And then curtsy out, especially your Trisha. He's just curtsy in and curtsy out. She loves this one. And then the last one, you'll end up here. And let this standing leg really find the earth, but have some bend in it too. And you know where you're going now. Bring your arms up. And either this foot is under the knee or above the knee. Doesn't matter. And then let your branches whoop, sway in the wind. We're flexible in our mind, body, and spirit. Every time we keep coming back home. So bring it back to center, right to your heart space. And bring that leg down slowly. We did that. So I'd like to do another balance pose. If you want to use a chair or a wall, that's fine. I, I want to, so I'm gonna. It's kind of long week, and it's, what is it, two step? So you can always use a chair, and, or not, it's your choice. And then you're gonna have your hands here, here, or next to your hips. And this back foot, come onto the toe. And you can start to lift that back leg, exit that foot. So you're going to be parallel with the earth. Hips are square. Maybe you bring your hands to your heart and fall down. You can use a chair if you want. I've got in my way. Or you can bring your hands here. So there's a lot of balance going on. You fall down and you get back up again. So let's see how you guys are doing. Yeah, you just use a chair on the wall because that is warrior three. It's a tricky one. And then when you finish that, shake it off. You're going to do both sides again. So take a minute to soften what you can. Take a nice breath in. Step the left foot in front. Then I use my arms to give me some balance in front. Slowly lift the back leg. Flex your foot. And where you go is where you go. Then you step back down again. 
It's a rough time of day for balance too. So come in and out of it a couple times. And when you're done, you're done. So if you want to try that again on both sides, you can. The guy's like, well, I don't want to try that. Let me try it one more time. This time, let's try it with our hands at our heart. Step the right foot in front. The drifty is the floor, so you don't want to go there. You can leave it from here. This is just perfect. So you can let it drift up. So when I really concentrate on looking at the floor, then I have a wall, I'm better. And then come out of it, shake it off, and then try the other foot. So I'm not looking at you. Do the best you can. And I come back there. Come back go. Look, wasn't that fun? Take your time, there's no rush. Never rush. Just step side side. So step your feet out apart. And make sure you feel your whole foot. You lift your toes for a minute. Breathe. And then come on the ball of your feet for a moment. That's interesting. Your heels, your toes. Feel that, find that whole foot. Most of us don't use our whole foot. Get your hips loosen up. Bring your arms out to the side. Just a little bit of rotation. So you're rotating from bra strap area, not your lower spine. Woo, breathe in. Breathe out. And then reach this way. Try to keep your arms so that they're in one long line of energy. Come to center. Drop your arms. You find your thighs. So this is God's pose. Bend yourself so that your knees are over your ankles. Toes are out. And let your head be heavy. Inhale. And then exhale, look over your right shoulder. And maybe you're like, um, you're out like an umpire. Inhale to center, exhale the other way, and you're safe. Huh, baseball's coming soon, I think. Just come to center, inhale, exhale, look over your shoulder. Just go side to side. Make it so much easiness that you don't know that your, your um, legs are working so hard. And then we'll stand up. How would that feel? <laughs> we'll go and post our arms. Okay, so we're going to leave our legs soften. We'll just rotate again. So your rotation is coming from here, not the lower spine. I can't say that enough. Just rotate a little bit. We get some extra energy. You go a little faster. Know the body you're living in today. Come this way. Got a little teapot song because it's more heavy. I do this. Put your arms out. And then we'll hop to center. And then we'll bring it up. back up. My Ashtanga move there. And hop to center. That's good. All right. So um, inhale your arms all the way up. And from the pit of the belly, from right here, you're going to come forward into a four fold. Step your feet apart here. And sway some more. You do a lot of swaying in yoga. Okay, I do a lot of swaying in yoga. <laughs> um, inhale, bring your hands to your shin. Elongate your spine. Exhale, bend your knees and say, oh, thank goodness, this is the earth down here. Inhale, elongate your spine, please. Exhale, bend your knees. And while you're bending your knees, come and sit down on your asana. The asana is what we call yoga poses. Take the bolster, the pillow, whatever it is you have at your home, and then take another pillow, behind it. So that's going to have your head in it. You want this to be lined up right at your, your shoulder blades, your angel wings, your scapula, whatever it is you call them. You're going to lay back down and the chest is going to come forward. The head's going to drop a little bit back. It's called fish pose. Your arms can be out, maybe behind you. No, that doesn't work. They can be, yeah, they have to be up. Okay, we'll have them out. So come in this position. I wish I could be there and adjust you and, and make sure it's, it feels good. But trust yourself. It's a bit of a heart opener. Breathe into your heart space. Bring in some trust. Some gratitude. Some contentment. 
for breathing. This is a good, good thing. We have our hearts open. We're stretching our fascia. It's all good. If it doesn't feel good on your neck, then, then fix that. Tuck your chin more. And then take your hands and make triangle shape. And put that on your belly for a moment, reminding yourself that you are safe, you are secure. Right now, in this moment, we're all safe. It's the only one that counts. Ah, breathing in now. To come out of this, just dig your elbows into the support and bring yourself up. We come back to a seated position, and then we'll bring our legs up the wall. So when you come to your seated position, it's any position that's comfortable to you. Okay. Anyone you like. Drop your chin to your chest, and just roll your head side to side for a little bit. Inhale and exhale. Enjoy the, the luxury of just being able to do this. Soften your jaw. It all can be easy. Oh. Let your central and peripheral nervous system settle down. We moved our bodies. We're trying to still the mind. It's the hardest part. Bring your head to center. And just let your head go side to side. One side and the other. Don't go too far. And if you feel a little bit of a... Let's bring it to the, the left side. And then bring your left... Uh, whatever arm, your other arm up, and give yourself a little neck massage. Start at the, the ear and bring the, the fascia and the muscle right down to the edge of your shoulder. You start at your ear where some people will clench their teeth and bring that muscle, uh, breathe in and out. We deserve this. Inhale, find that right there, and then bring it right out to your shoulder. And then bring your head to center. And just take a little note. Oh, how does it feel different on the side I just loved on? Feels like I should do the other side. And you're going to fall to the other side. Feel the little stretch. And then bring your other hand up. Start at the back of your ear. And just roll the muscle towards your shoulder. Do that a few times. Go slow and easy. Sometimes people tend to go real fast and your, your body loves to go slow. Ugh. Feels good. Our Friday night I'm doing a mild flash release class with the ball, so that might be fun. Yay. So we're gonna make our legs be long for a minute. Give them a little shake out. Ah. Um, well, there's just a, a, um, just a couple of satanamas. So you're going to touch your fingers together. It's the first and second. It's sa here, ta na ma. And then we whisper it, and then we don't say it out loud. Because Trisha doesn't know this one, so we'll do this. All right, how many times should I do it, Trisha? How many? Three. She's going to say three. All right, so Teresa, it's, it's just like that with the fingers. And you can listen because you've never done it before. It's fine. Just yeah. be with us and feel it. So the, the out loud voice is a human voice. The whisper voice is the voice of lovers. And the quiet voice is the voice of the divine. Breathe in and out. Sata na na. Sata Nama Sata Nama To the whisper Sata Nama Sata Nama Let it be quiet in your mind for two of them. Sa, na, na, ma. Yeah. 
Now I give my voices. Sa nama, sa ta nama, sa ta nama. One more. Sa ta nama. Bring your hands to your heart center. Sa nam means I am divine. I'm walking a truthful path. I am. I am, I am, so we are. It's a really good mantra to say and to think. Satna. Right. So then bring your hands down. Find a wall at your house. Hopefully, everybody, yeah, of course you have a wall. <laughs> and you can use a pillow under your back if you want, where you can just kind of scoot up to the wall and you'll lay down and bring your feet up the wall. So they're resting this way. I think we'll um, sit down and just start to notice your own breath and notice your heart as it's beating in your chest. Hopefully it's beating nice and easy. Just notice how it feels if your legs are up, how it feels to have the blood coming into the hip joint. And when your legs get tired, you can just let them fall off the wall, it's fine. Be heavy on the earth. Be supported. Let the earth hold you safe. Let yourself be supported. Some of us have trouble with that. We want to do it all ourselves. Okay, so maybe I'm one of them. Just let the earth hold you now. Feel your body just being as strong. Get, let it soften. It's hard to um, let go sometimes. Your breathing doesn't have to do anything special now. Just let your breath be as it is. If it's okay for you, close your eyes or soften your gaze. It's your choice. Let everything slow down for a moment. Notice how your head can get very heavy. And notice how your ears can just hear sounds. Notice your right ear and your left just receiving sound. Notice your nose. When you breathe in, it's kind of cool. And then when you exhale, it gets a little warmer. Let your eyes just rest in those sockets. Awareness back to sound. Notice the temperature of your skin. Notice your whole body as it rests. Just feel your body. Don't think if you're feeling it right or wrong. There's no right or wrong. You simply are in this moment. Make sure your jaw is not clenched all up tight. Let your tongue rest in your mouth. Give yourself permission to rest. Whatever you're gonna do after this, it will wait. Whatever you did before, it's all done. You're all set with that. It is, anxiety comes with rushing to the next thing. When our minds get all busy, what's coming next? That's when we get nervous. Well, I get nervous. And when we kind of think about everything we already did, it's just so sad sometimes. So be so nice. Give yourself a, a present right now, a being present, it's a gift. Feel the back body rest into the earth. The front body. You can be sitting up too. It's, it's, it's okay to sit up as long as you're, you're just letting yourself be. And it's hard for most of us to just be because we're busy people. Feel your right arm and your left as they both kind of surrender into stillness. Come back to your heart for a moment and remember what's true for you lives in your heart. Your mind, our minds are so busy, those busy, busy minds. So let your awareness float back to your heart space and continue to commit to yourself, being nice to you, being kind and loving who you are, a little more each day. Remember to let your belly just gently rise when you breathe in and fall when you exhale over and over, keeping you safe, anchoring you. Let your hips get heavy. 
the right leg, the left leg, whole body rests, the whole body in stillness. We haven't anywhere to go, there's nothing to do right now. This is your time, this is your time to take Shavasana. Shavasana means constructive rest. It's like, almost like an adult nap, but not quite. So stay awake, stay alert, but stay peaceful and stay within. Do the best you can. Let your awareness come back to your body, come back to your mind. Notice any changes in your energy, your spirit. As you're ready, you can wiggle fingers and toes, roll your head side to side. And eventually come back up to sit together. Let your um, sitting bones find the earth once more. The crown of your head reaching towards that beautiful divine spirit. Slightly tuck the chin. Just let all of our practice wash over you. Take your right hand and cup it, and then your left hand on top. This is a mudra that is a this is a yoga pose. Just hold them softly. It can be instantly calming. So push your hands into each other and then soften. And breathe in, breathe out. What do you want to be holding in your hands? What do you need? Let yourself want something. Not a new car. Let it be something more spiritual. You know, peace, love, Ananda, bliss, all those things. Hmm. Just, this is a good mudra. I haven't done it in a while. It feels really nice. And then bring your hands. Um, so one is facing up like this, and the other is in Kyan, Sid Mudra, this way. So let's take two breaths here, breathing in. This is fearless. We have no fear because we are protected. Breathe in, breathe out. We got this. And then let your hands come together in dog mudra so that the knuckles are holding. We're holding our little heart in our hands or our love dove. So hold something in your hands that's precious to you that you want to keep and cultivate. Don't squish it, it will break. Take a breath into that. Hmm. I want to sing Om Shanti Shanti Om. It means 
means um, the Om is everything united, and Shanti means peace. Om Shanti Shanti Om. Bring your hands to your thumbs, to your third eye, your 